It's been a long time since I made a video. Um, just life's getting busy. I had one of my, I call it an in, in the valley days today. I had a one a few days ago and today was another one and um, it was a good it was good timing because um, I almost forgot I rescheduled um, something um, at the re and um, I didn't see my uh, psychologist on the regular day and so it was today and today was a dark day for me um, maybe not dark uh, uh, a low day I should say I've had difficulty coming out you know I'd be in a certain state for hours sometimes half a day sometimes a whole day M most time not the whole day hopefully you know I can pull myself out eventually not an entire day though that'd be really bad in the past oh yes sometimes uh, a number of days consecutive days plural strung together but recently been better Anyway, I'm glad I talked to him because, and I'm glad I was having one of those days on on an appoint uh, on a day that I see him, uh, an appointment day, because that I could talk about it and we could process it with him being a professional and him being uh, somebody who would pray for me also and would understand. Um, you know, we adhere to the same principles. He was saying, um, in a nutshell, you know, anger is a, is a very strong emotion. And that's an easy emotion to grab onto. Most people grab onto anger because that's the easy way out. And I never looked at it like that. It makes complete sense. It's easy to get upset and angry. Um, usually there is something that underlies that anger it's like something that I and you know we were talking and yeah I, 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 I kind of see that I do put on anger like I put it on me as a defense mechanism as something to like a you know I'm trying to protect myself it's like armor I'm trying to be intimidating so that nothing else can come at me um, or I'm trying to I feel I, I, it's just, it's just, you know, it's just a, uh, defense mechanism, basically, and that's how I use it. It's illegitimate anger, of course. There is things that are legitimately, we should be upset about, angry about, but when it comes to me and my psychological state and, you know, things like this, my behavior, my think, my thinking, and, you know, my disorder that I struggle with, um, this is illegitimate um, anger, and I'm taking it out on other people. I could take it out on other people in a number of ways. Um, I've gotten better, um, but I make everybody uneasy around me. And um, even if I'm not, even if I'm not really taking it out on people internally, I walk around as a as a volcano. You know, just things are bothering me, and it's almost going to be a matter of time until something bothers me where I just can't take it anymore. So I'm walking around in this heightened state uh, and I feel, you know, in my throat and in my chest, I feel tight and my blood almost feels warm or even hot. It, <laughs> uh, that's how it feels. I'm not saying my, my blood temperature literally rises, but I feel more on edge, ready to respond, ready to react physically. Um, not that I want to be like that anymore. Um, you know, go go look for some problem. Go look for somebody to take it out on. But I feel heightened um, in that in this state. But I did notice that, and I cannot deny it, that every time I'm like this, I feel hardened. I feel hard. I feel prideful. I feel upset. I feel hard. Like it's hard to pray. It's hard to talk because I'm putting this armor on, this, this anger. I'm wearing it and I'm trying to protect myself 
from further whatever else is happening, stressful situation or something that is, uh, I don't know, whatever it is, whatever the situation is or series of events, I don't want it to get worse so I get angry and I cover myself with it and I shield myself with this anger and I try to snuff out anything else that's coming and also, I don't want to seem vulnerable. I don't want to seem weak. So I puff myself up. I guess like those lizards that um, puff themselves. You know, these animals, these defense mechanisms. They puff themselves up to look bigger than they really are. To scare off you know, a predator. You know, that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm doing that. I'm using my anger to cloak myself. To make myself intimidating. So... This more issues don't come, but um, I'm not dealing with anything. So, the harder thing to do is to dig a little deeper and to what is underlying this anger, what is the source to examine myself to and start to break myself instead of being hard to soften myself up and ask myself questions like, you know, it's easy to say I'm angry because. Because of this and this and this. Because of you, 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 you. But then he asked me. Here's a question that might seem unrelated. But go with it for now. And I did. He said, I feel sad. Because. You know. And, and it takes a little while to think that way. To kind of switch. Because it's easy. It's e easy to know what I'm upset about. What am I sad about? And then things came up, and I was like, wow, it's pretty deep. In this state that I'm in, in, in my low days, what am I grieved about? And then two things came up. And, you know, in my state of being angry, I was not really aware. But, you know, these two things are were the root, pretty much the root of everything else. So, it's like, anger is a go-to because it's easy. And you don't want to stay in ang an angry state because you don't get anywhere. It's all false. You're hiding. I'm hiding something. I'm hiding behind my anger. So, i got to dig deeper. The next level is sadness or grieving because they're kind of related. But when you say grieve, it's really, to me, it's kind of deeper and it it call it just it just makes me think harder and deeper about is there anything grieving me today or, or something that is bothering me and there always is you don't I'm not angry you're not just angry for nothing but if you are putting anger on as a as a mask or a cloak or armor a defense mechanism to puff yourself up whatever reason I was doing it to hide my vulnerability because there are things that I need to talk to my wife about and I need to be vulnerable in order to talk about these things and it's just easy for me to just say hey, don't worry about it I got it I'll figure it out I'll take care of it which is true you know I'm being a leader I'm being the man of the house um but I'm doing it in my own power. I'm not humbling myself before God. I'm not having a, a, a prayerful, you know, I'm not being led by the Spirit of God. I am uh, just trying to control it. I'm trying to control things that I cannot control and I'm getting frustrated. So, and I know that I felt myself being hard, you know, the, 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 what is that? James, the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Um, anger and pride can be connected. So, you know, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. So, you know, after considering what saddens me, it's easy what, what I'm angry at. What saddens me? What am I grieved about? It takes a little bit more thought. And when I figured it out, and then things started to get clearer. So, if that helps you, go past, you know you're angry. I know I'm angry. Go past that, dig deeper. What else is there? 
Are you sad about anything? Are you grieved about anything? Is anything, and are you are you hiding anything? What's your anger? What are you using your anger for anyway? I'm I use it as a mask, as a as a defense mechanism. I'm puffing myself up to make myself seem, um, uh, to intimidate any more things to come my way and whatever I'm struggling with I'd use it to just everybody just leave me alone I'll figure it out I'll take care of it just get out of the way uh, but um, again I'm doing that on my own power I have to go have a good talk with my wife and I need to be vulnerable with her and I need to ask for prayer I am, I don't feel hard anymore, like, I feel very softened, very humbled, very thankful and grateful for, to God for his long suffering and patience with me and his uh, scriptures of rebuke about how I shouldn't be the way I am and how I should be walking a new path and, and um, going his way and it's better, it's the path, the path of peace, not the path of of conflict, of inner conflict and struggle. And I'm not saying that there is no struggle following God, but all this unnecessary things that I do to myself and do to others is just nonsense. It's foolishness. I need to be a man of wisdom. So, um, I challenge you guys to look past your anger and go deeper. Ask yourself, what am I using my this anger for? And what are you go past anger, go to sadness and grieving and see if there what what's there? Soften yourself yourself or yourselves and practice being vulnerable like practice being opposite of what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to hide my vulnerability. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be vulnerable on purpose and have a open conversation with my wife about some things and we're gonna pray about it instead of me pretending that I got it all under control because I don't and I usually feel this way when I'm very stressed um, and things yeah so I, I figured it out and I thank the Lord for um, uh, my psychologist my, my, my friend my brother in Christ and I hope this, this um, is helpful to, to you also. Thank you and God bless.